In this example, we will be approximating the square root of 109 to the nearest tenths place decimal. To do this, we want to look at perfect squares near 109. Examples are 10 squared, which is 100, and 11 squared, which is 121. We can see that 109 fits between 100 and 121, so we can write the following inequality. 100 is less than 109, which is less than 121. Now we'll take the square root of all of these values. The square root of 100 is equal to 10, because 10 squared is equal to 100. The square root of 121 is equal to 11, because 11 squared is equal to 121. Now we can see the square root of 109 is between 10 and 11. 109 is a little bit closer to 100 compared to 121, but it's fairly distributed evenly between them. So, we can pick a tenths place decimal between 10 and 11 that's just a little bit closer to 10 to multiply by itself to give us about 109. Let's try 10.4 squared and see how close we can get to 109. 4 times 4 is 16, carry the 1. 0 times 4 is 0, plus 1 is 1, and then 1 times 4 is 4. Add zeros for the next row, and then two zeros as placeholders for our final row. 1 times 4 is 4, 1 times 0 is 0, and then 1 times 1 is 1. Adding these together, we get 108.16, which is fairly close to 109, so we'll approximate it as 109. We can then say that 10.4 squared is approximately 109. Taking the square root of both sides, we'll cancel the squared and the square root for the 10.4, leaving us with 10.4 is approximately the square root of 109, and this will be our approximated solution.